probably more more sugar than than anything else. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I don't like I don't like sweet, sweet stuff, stuff, stuff too much. much so I don't put it very much on mine. But yeah, it still, has, it still has lots of butter, 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 flour. Yeah, but you still um. Even with all of this, you drop two pounds. So you think – what do you think it is? What do you think it is about that two pounds? Um, well, I still, well, I still didn't eat that much, much per se. I, I ate, ate a lot because I haven't counted calorie calories, calories, but, you know, when I ate, I ate out, out, usually, usually that was like one big meal I had that day. day. And, and, and throughout the day, like earlier in the day, I would have had oatmeal and then yogurt, and then we ate out some more. Oatmeal, yogurt, or oatmeal, oatmeal, ate out. And so I think my calories for the day were still in the 2,500 to 2,000 uh, calorie range. Yeah. So I still think there was a little bit. I was still burning more. I yeah. did go to the, I did go to the gym uh, this week. I didn't go as much as I've gone in the past. I went three times this week. Mm-hmm. But I still worked really hard. So it's probably a combination of, you know, still not totally overeating mm-hmm. um, with, Going to gym still, and also, um, I was gonna figure out my third item. Uh, I might have already had this weight lost, but the the day I weighed in myself mm-hmm. last week, yeah, mm-hmm. maybe because of water weight or something, I was higher than I actually was. And that's what's yeah. interesting about your weight, because there's water weight, and maybe this week you have a lot of water weight, and next week you're gonna come here, and you're gonna be, oh, I'm one seventy nine. <laughs> no, so. I mean, I, today I'll, I'll work out weights like crazy, but I'll, I'll test this out. I won't do any weights after that, and all I would do after that is just run. And then maybe all the water would just like get out of my, my, my entire body, and then I'll weigh in again and see what happens, right? So, yeah, because the strength from all the weights and stuff like that didn't decrease at all when I was running. Right when I hopped back onto the weights, I did even more than I did before. So I guess, you know, my muscle didn't really lose too much while I was doing a lot of cardio. So, yeah. So what you just described over there about losing that two pounds just sounds like the the straightforward, simple, common sense thing that everybody talks about. Eat less and work out. Because when you eat less, you didn't take in too much calorie. You probably had a, a calorie deficit than what, uh, uh, than, than what is required to maintain your own body's weight. And then you also toss in the gym workout, even if it's just three days a week. For some, that's a lot. But um, yeah, and then that basically was all just calorie deficit. So maybe, maybe that's basically what it was. You can eat all the Big Mac you want, but if it's less than your uh, calories to maintain your weight, then then you'll lose weight regardless. But it probably won't do too well to your hearts and yeah, because it's you know and stuff like that. And like you said, a lot the MS- of fat. like the MSG as well. Like it's not really good for you, mm-hmm. um, but if you don't eat it all every day, it's probably not going to kill you. But yeah, you just yeah. Gotta, yeah, you know, it's the whole idea is. If you're going to put food in your body, you might as well try to find the best food. Yeah. It may not always be the case, but you should at least try. Yeah. I, I remember the the one universal secret for everything, moderation. So, like, I guess if you go to, let's say, Olive Garden or some steakhouse or something like that, just don't finish the entire plate but because that's too many calories right there. And a lot of people say, oh, yeah, you order a plate, you cut it in half, and then you put the rest in a to-go box. And then you'll probably have that the next day or something like that. So, yeah, I that's probably what it is. Just just eat less and just eat less calorie and just work out to burn it even more, right? So do you want to do this week, do you want to take pictures of what we're eating and then try to estimate the calories of each picture? Yeah, yeah, let, let's do that. So so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the calculator and see what is the amount of calorie I need to maintain my weight. I'll take a picture of every single thing. Even if I eat salad 20 times, I'll take 20 pictures right there. And then I guess in each picture, I'll just Photoshop the numbers in there, the calorie um, count. And then for that whole week, I'll show how much I'm supposed to eat in that whole week to maintain my weight and how much I'm, and then how much I actually had a deficit in. And then if you calculate that out and divide it by 3,500, you'll see how many pounds I'm supposed to lose. And I'll show how much pound I am by the end of that week. And if it matches, then we got 
um, a very straightforward case study. That sounds of like fun. Two guys trying to lose weight. Uh, yeah, it does sound like fun. And imagine if it really works, then you can take anybody. You can take anybody and kind of you know just make them go through the same uh, program. You know, and they don't have to cut out their carbs. They don't have to cut out all the other weird stuff that they like to eat. I mean, if we're just focusing on weight loss, they wouldn't be too healthy if they ate French fry all week long. But if they wanted to drop the pounds, this is uh, one way to go. You know, so yeah, and this is definitely gonna be a hard week to do it. It's a, this is a good one to do it on. You wanna know why? Because I won't be eating those little bite-sized Snicker bars. Because I'll have to count each one. Well, you know, you know, the, you you say you don't really like to eat sweet stuff. I don't really like to eat sweet stuff too. Candies and all those stuff isn't a crazy craving for me. I, I like only, I like the, candy. I just don't like uh -huh. syrup and sugar poured on my food. Like, go ahead. It, it's more of that kind of sweetness. Okay, okay. So you have pancake. You probably just have like a tiny drop of of stuff. You probably if, don't eat if at all. Pancake. Yeah, I don't even eat syrup. Yeah, on my food. I eat, I can eat pancakes, but I don't eat syrup on them. I see. I see. Yeah, like like taffy candy and, and and Snickers and stuff like that. I don't I don't really care about it. The only weakness I have is for um, carrot cake, cheesecake, and almond chocolate. Those are the, and, and and oatmeal cookies, oatmeal and raisin soft chewy cookies. Wow. Yeah. Those those are my 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 basically my my four things that I always die for. But yeah, if that's not around, I I basically don't look for it. So. Doesn't matter if it's Halloween and there's cupcake. I don't really care about um, those, those stuff at all, anyways. But yeah, what I think would be tough would be Thanksgiving and stuff like that. But I mean, let's just look at it this way. You know, if, if you look at it from a calories uh, point of view, it doesn't matter what we eat, right? It doesn't matter if you eat candy or whatever. It's just if you keep your your calories low, then no matter what, you're still gonna lose weight. You know, if I if if I give you, if you give me five hundred dollars, but if I give you a thousand dollars, you'll still be happy with it, you know, as long as you're getting more. So it doesn't matter what we eat in this situation, as long as you're getting less of the calorie. You know, if you give more away than you get, so yeah. But that's something interesting. Um, are we? So so are you gonna want to continue with this no carb thing no. or? I don't okay. think I liked it. I, I did not like it. I don't think it worked for me. I think uh, just made, focusing on the calories again mm -hmm. is an, a nice new uh, little challenge to do. Okay. It'd be interesting to see how accurate it is if we're really, really yeah. tight on the metrics. I, I actually have um, another challenge with another friend for the entire month starting just this Monday, just yesterday. And it's basically no carbs. So, I mean – you you won't you you won't you know you you don't have to do it but uh but I'm already stuck with this challenge because I already told them that we'll, uh -huh. we'll, we'll do this challenge. I'll consider you the victor in our challenge. I I can't uh -huh. do it. I on Saturday, I almost felt like my soul was di disconnected from my body. I was so tired. Uh huh. And, and I'm thinking that was from the lack of sugar. Uh huh. That I wasn't putting in my body. Now I could have eaten fruit, and that's why I got fruit. But mm -hmm. I think I would just prefer to. Just eat carbs once in a while. Just not overindulge in them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So we'll take pictures of everything, and then we'll do the whole calorie thing, and and see how that goes. And for this week, I'll just um, do a lot more cardio. Just do a lot more running and, and and stuff like that, and and see how that goes. So, yeah. But this is this is really good. This is really good. If you're two fifty two. You're almost there, man. You're two pounds. You're gonna drop under two fifty, and that's gonna be awesome. And I still have to get under that one ninety. That seems like that stupid number that I can't go under. So hopefully by next week Tuesday, I can scream out an easy one eighty five, a easy one, a comfortable one eighty five. So yeah, I mean I only got thirty two pounds to go to get to my ideal weight. I mean, come on. Yeah. Man, let's, let's just let's just hurry up and, and 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 get there, you know. So, yeah, um, yeah. So, um, is there anything else you want to add, or no? I just want to say to our audience that let us know what you guys are doing on your diets. I'm very curious if if you tried the no carb thing and kind of found yourself in the same situation as me, where you're kind of dizzy, 
Uh, and the same thing goes with like any other sort of experimentation, not eating out like Andy was saying earlier. I love to hear. We would love to hear some feedback from you guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and and we're gonna do this whole calorie uh, challenge now. So yeah, if that works out, then that's gonna be the jewel, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna be stuck on this website for a long time. If that if that if we can just calculate everything and everything works out, you know. So yeah, but um. Besides that, I guess it's pretty much a wrap right here. And um, yeah, uh, the way that you guys can contact us is basically through our website at andyvsdano.com. Uh, you can check out our videos. You can leave comments. Um, yeah, we have everything right there. You can also email us at andyvsdano at gmail.com. Send us anything you want about your diet, any inspiration, any encouragement, anything you hate about the website. If you, if you think uh, uh, you don't like uh, Dano Shaved, you know, let him know that too. And uh, you can also follow us on our Twitter at Andy, um, at handle andyvsdano. Okay? So you can tweet us and, and follow us right there. And, yeah, I think that about wraps it up. And I just want to say thank you for watching another episode of Andy vs. Dano Webcast. Thanks. Yeah!